welcome back to the channel. As you can see, our setting is a bit different uh, this morning. We're camping this weekend, having a great time. My channel mascot is not the happiest camper uh, this morning. She decided to tussle with a skunk last night and the skunk kind of won. So we've got a stinky uh, channel mascot this morning, but just gave her the skunk shampoo. So hopefully she'll be feeling better soon. Um, so this is going to be, was, this was going to be a breakfast, but now this is going to be more of a brunch because uh, I had to run to town, skunk shampoo, already went over that. So anyway, what are we going to do today? We are going to make some Dutch oven sausage gravy and then put some biscuits on there, let those bake in the Dutch oven and it is going to be so yummy. So when I, when I bring you guys back, I'm going to start getting those coals ready. I'll uh, show you how we get this uh, dish going. As you can see here, I've got my uh, coals. I like, cook like cooking, uh, getting my coals started with a chimney versus lighter fluid. I don't like the taste of lighter fluid. Um, and so that's what I'm doing there. I'm gonna start with this. I've got, I need about 20 coals on the bottom to get started. So let me shake out some of those. And three, six, eight. Uh, three, six, nine. Probably a little bit more than 20, but that should get us going pretty well. I'll reserve those for later. I've got my trivet here, which keeps my Dutch oven off of those coals a little bit. So let me kind of get those piled up. Got my Dutch oven here. Put him on there. All right. And we want to put a little olive oil in there. And we will get our sausage there we go going and this is going to cook uh for about uh 10 10 15 minutes on there i also like some shallots uh with my gravy not everybody likes onions in their gravy but i do so that's what we're going to put in there we're just going to break that sausage up on there get that cooking and I, you know, it's, it's, it's fun work, working with a Dutch oven. Um, it's a totally different way of cooking, uh, but it, the products generally always turn out really well. And so, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. And like I said, we'll get that started. All right, get that lid back on there. Like that. Put the rest of our coals on top there. And we'll come back and check that in about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, and we are back. As you can see here, our sausage is nice. Put that over there. One thing to note is I, you always want to have um, some more coals going as these are cooking. Coals last about an hour or so. So because we know this is going to be an hour, more than an hour cook, ultimately, we want to have some spare coals going over there. So next step. Here, move this around. This looks really good. Nice and brown. We're going to add a bit of butter to that. Get that mixed in there. Like that. And basically make our base for the gravy, which is our flour. So when I do this, I actually like to use um, uh, bisquick, bisquick or like a pancake mix. It works really good. 
um, a little bit better than flour, I find. So uh, we want to put about that much in there. So move that around. Make sure everything's coated. Whenever you make a gravy, you got to make sure that you cook out that flour taste, right? So we want to just let that cook for just a bit. Incorporated. Hope the wind isn't too bad. The wind kind of picked up a minute ago, so kind of dealing with that. So while that's uh, cooking, what we're going to eventually do is, once that flour has a chance to cook a bit, um, we're going to change our coal settings around. So we're going to put 10 or so on the bottom, 16 on top. That's going to give us a temperature for about 375 uh, for the biscuits to cook on top of that gravy. And yeah, that's going to be for about a half an hour or so. So, good progress there. Now let's start, we can start incorporating our milk. Slowly start stirring that in there. There's some consensus of thought that uh, you should warm the milk up before you put it in there, but I've never found that to be um, an issue. So cold milk works just fine. You want to just kind of keep stirring though, make sure everything's incorporated. And as you can see, the gravy is starting to thicken up. Now some people like their gravy uh, thicker or thinner than others. It's totally your preference, whatever you uh, decide is good for you. I don't mind to keep going thin and out there a little bit. And I also want a little bit more uh, fluid in here maybe than normal just because uh, we're going to be baking with those biscuits and um, I find that it's too thin uh, you can have a chance of uh, burning down there which we definitely don't want that so moving that around man that looks tasty oh and I, I think I don't think I mentioned earlier this is a sage breakfast sausage uh, it works really good but you know you can really use any kind of sausage whatever your preference is so it's getting nice and thick hope you won't Add more. Keep stirring that around. While that's starting to thicken, I'm going to put my first round of spices in there. We've got some, of course, uh, salt. But easy on the salt is like I always say, you can put more in, but you can't take it away. So there's that pepper. Generally, sausage gravy is pretty heavy on the pepper, which I agree with too. So we're going to put quite a bit of that in there. That's good. What I also like to put in my gravy uh, is kind of a funny thing. It's one of these Herbox granulated chicken uh, powders. And I find that it adds a really nice, uh, nice flavor to that gravy. So I'm gonna put one of those in there. And that'll all mix in. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's getting real good. Now it doesn't need to be 100% thickened because as I mentioned before, of course we're gonna be baking those uh, biscuits on there. And it's going to have additional time to come together. That's looking pretty good. So maybe just a splash more milk in there. And there we go. That should be about right. Oh yeah. That looks really good. And that's going to really continue to thicken up there, which is going to be great. Next steps. Okay. So what we have here is some flaky buttermilk biscuits and those are just going to go right on the top there. All right, kind of like that. And those are going to get all golden brown and delicious. Any of my uh, co-pilots looking forward to biscuits this morning? Yep. Yep. All right. So my daughter will probably end up just eating the top of the biscuits because she likes biscuits, not to pick on gravy. Elliot, what do you think? Are you going to eat the uh, gravy too or just biscuits? A little bit of the gravy. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay, guys, like I mentioned before, I'm going to adjust those coals on the bottom, uh, 10 on the bottom, 16 on top. Get these going. I probably have to use some of my new coals. When I bring you guys back, I will show you the finished product. All right, guys. So you can see what we ended up there. Wow, that looks good. You can see the 
gravy is bubbling, those biscuits are golden brown. Uh, I think that the picture says a thousand words in this case, and I think that the taste is going to be that much better. But, like I always say, it's up to that big bite to see what we ended up with. Be back in a bit. And we are back. So, oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm just very hungry. I haven't eaten anything today, so this is going to be so good. As you can see there, we've got the biscuits and the gravy. Um, I also like Tabasco, fan of Tabasco, so I like it hot. So that's in there too. Um, let's go for it. That big bite. Mm. That's a perfect camping food. Turned out perfectly, just as you can imagine. Mm. So good. Stick to your bones kind of meal. Um, my co-pilot, who was naughty, should probably get a little bite too. Lulu, come here. Lulu. Sit. All right. She gets a little bite too. Okay, guys, like I always say, if you aren't already, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and get those notifications. We'll see you in the next one.